Hey guys, what's up? It's been a minute since we made a video, um, but we're back. We're back at it, and uh, I've got some cool stuff. So we're gonna talk about this little feller, right? And we're gonna talk about another feller that went away. It's in this bag. This guy. Let's talk about it. Alrighty, so yes, change the light stuff. It is really hot, so I'm gonna be sweating like a pig by the time we're done with this, but it's all for you. Do it all for you. We're talking about this guy. This is the Armadillo. I think it's how you say it, like Armor, Armadillo, Armadillo. Their Expert version two. Apparently they made a version one back in the day. It was a little bit more flexible. This guy, I think they said it's injection molded, um, so it's supposed to hold up a lot better. I got this straight from their website, um, along with a, Surefire X300 um, Ultra. <sighs> I did not want to get a Surefire. I would way have preferred to get a holster like this that worked with the Streamlight, but from everything that I've seen, any of the holsters that I'm looking to use for this application, which I'll talk about in a minute, they all only work with Surefires. For whatever reason, you get your attention from the Surefire, the Streamlights just don't cut it, and all the other uh, weapon lights they just don't I guess they don't have the corners and the edges or whatever so and the reason I got it as a combo kit because I am I don't know too much about the Surefire X300 I know there's different versions of it where some of you have a, a, a pin that goes all the way through right right you have a block that drops down you have a version one version two older version newer version they call them different things one two old new a b I don't know what the difference is and I can't find anywhere that lays it out exactly so these came together, so I was like, yes, they should work together. Hopefully they will. I've resisted the urge to take this out and put it in here um, until this video. So we're going to do it live for y'all. It's not live, but it will be for me. Um, so let's talk about why I wanted to get something like this, okay? What is the purpose? Who cares? Well, this multi-layered, just like most things in life, this is a multi-layered reason to do something like this. Um, for now, primarily, it's going to be to provide a holster for a suppressed pistol, okay? This is a 19 with my Omega 9K. And right now, I'm only really aware of two manufacturers that make a holster that I could holster my pistol. You have T-Rex Arms, right, with their Ragnarok SD, I believe, um, and it uses a Surefire X300 light to mount, right? It, it all indexes, mounts up, locks up off the light, not the gun. Excuse me. Um, and then we have Armadillo that comes out with a holster that supposedly works with uh, with suppressors. And who cares about holstering suppressors? Well, it's fun. And for me, that's about where it's going to end, which is a really stupid reason to get one of these. It's why I wouldn't get one. I was like, no, I'm not going to get one just because it's fun. For reasons I'll get to in another video, um, probably at some point, at some point I'm sure I will, I'm looking at getting a 10 millimeter um, like a Glock 20, right? Model 20, probably not the big one, the 40, or I don't really want to get the little 29. It's not little, but the Glock 20, okay? For reasons I'll get to later. And I would need to get a whole new system for that because that, that's a larger frame Glock. It's not going to work on any of the holsters that I have. So I was thinking off the top of my head, this would be kind of cool because this indexes off the light. If I'm already having this, then I can use this as an inside the waistband because it comes with the hardware to make it an inside the waistband um, or an outside the waistband and for where and what I'm gonna be using that 10, 10 millimeter for, that's perfectly fine. Inside, outside, perfectly great. Um, shout out to Sam, I do not remember your last name, so it's not a good shout out, but um, I'll put his Instagram thing somewhere. Um, but I went to the uh, Warrior Poet training, and he was one of the, or he was the assistant teacher, or however you want it, instructor, teacher, whatever. He carried one of these, and he talked about how it was handy to have something like this for his application, to have a, have a holster like this that works with a light, that you could throw this in your bag and go, he does work other places and other things to where he goes with his holster and his light to a different country or a different place, and has provided a firearm, right? So then you could put the light on the firearm and still have a holster. Makes sense, okay? And that got to me thinking, or got, got me thinking, okay, so the versatility is there, the actual application is there. I can use this for that 10 millimeter when that day comes, and until that day comes, I can use it, hopefully, to suppress, or to holster suppressed pistols. 
Anyway, that was a long, drawn-out explanation of whys and whats and everything, but let's look at this guy. Alright, before anybody starts freaking out, I'm not modifying firearms, I'm not doing any of that, I'm not advertising for firearms or whatever thing, whatever stuff. This is a firearm, and I'm not messing with it, okay? For all those people out there. Anyway, let's open this guy up. This is the Surefire. I already opened it up and looked at it just a little bit, took the batteries, uh, make sure they're in there, make sure they work. Believe it or not, this is the first Surefire X300 that I've ever had. I've had other Surefires, but not the pistol ones. I've always liked the Streamlights. See if this thing even works. Okay, so, I don't even know if I gotta change out. Probably will, I don't know. This is supposed to go on this way, right? Yeah, okay, so that works. Light works, okay. It's supposed to just clippy clip right in here. Yeah, well it does. It does clip right in there. Well that's pretty simple. And it doesn't touch anywhere at all in here. If you can see, it might look like it does, but no it doesn't. So that's nice. That's one concern that I, potential concern that I had with the, with the, uh, what you call, the T-Rex arms holster is that it touched those little wings. They had little wings that held tension on the suppressor to help it not bump out. Um, which this guy, yeah, he's not just going to fall out, I don't think, not yet. We're going to see. We're going to put it through his paces and we'll see if it will fall out. But right now, no, that, that seems pretty, that seems pretty much in there. Um, but I had concerns that those little wings, after you shoot a suppressor for a while, it's like the muffler of a car. It gets very hot. Let's get very hot. And I was thinking, well, if you use a heat gun or an air, uh, uh, hot air dryer, whatever it's called, um, to heat the wings up, to bend them over. Well, then by the time the suppressor gets really hot and you shot a little bit, I don't know if it's really gonna keep tension because if the suppressor pushes on those wings, they're going to be soft and fall over. I don't know, I have no idea. If any of y'all have that, 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 that holster, let me know if that makes any difference. But this guy doesn't touch on here at all, so that's handy. Um, I'm gonna stick this on my belt and uh, figure it out. Stand by. All right, this should be a pretty standard affair. Um, they have a little, the, you have a little lock right here, this little piece that folds out, right? Folds out of the way so you can pinch these together and pull up, right? These adjust for your, your belt, how thick your belt is. We'll put that on here. If we can do it on camera, that'd be amazing. There we go. This guy should clip in and then lock that little thing on the bottom so that's kind of how that guy would go i'm gonna probably if this works look into getting the uh what's it the qls thing the sparling qls um so i can run it on my actual belt but this there we go covers up the trigger guard okay angle this down a little bit covers up the trigger guard so nothing's getting in there at the trigger which is the most important thing. People that carry whole guns without stuff covering up the trigger, I think you're actually waiting to happen. And I think you'd break something before that would come out the wrong way. So I'm guessing just to, sorry, just to draw, yep, you just come straight up into holster. You're gonna have to make sure you push it in there all the way. This will be interesting. It sounds interesting. Okay. Sounds weird. Hey. So I'm have to get used to that draw. Thankfully, coming out is fine. Just putting it back in doesn't want to go quite in. Go. Just kind of got to wiggle it in there. Okay, so hopefully you can see it from here. One issue, obviously, if I'm shooting this thing very much and this gets hot, it's going to burn a hole in my pants. Like right here, exhibit A. Um, that's a rifle suppressor. Don't let rifle suppressors touch your legs. You're going to burn yourself. Uh, but this is going to do the same thing. So that's we're having it on a drop leg a little bit, um, keeping it a little bit away from your body, or at least the upper part of your leg. Probably be a better idea. But drawing the gun is the same so far right it just pulls straight out you don't have any massive resistance putting the gun away 
you push down, you hear a click, it's not in. You kind of turn it a little bit, and it kind of pushes in. I'm thinking it indexes off of your little tabs right here, because if you look on the sides, see if I can get this to angle right, maybe I can. Yeah, I think you can see that. These little wings right here. I think that is what the retention comes from. Okay, because that actually has a piece that sticks out on both sides that it can grab onto. Because I'm not seeing anywhere else on the inside where it has a pocket or anything to hold onto. So I think that's where the retention comes from. So drawing the gun, it's easy to come straight out. It's fine. Put the gun away, just kind of wiggle it, and you'll feel it drop in, and then it's in, and then it's in. It ain't, and it's just gonna flop out. That's one thing I was kind of concerned about. Like, is it gonna be really usable? But I think it really will be. So this will be interesting. This is a quick little first kind of look-see at this guy. Um, it just really just gives me now the ability to carry the gun, this gun, suppressed, uh, which isn't the biggest deal in the world for most people. Like most people aren't ever, 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 ever gonna need to do that, never. And I probably, I, I don't need to do that. It's just gonna be something a little bit more fun, a little bit more, more interesting. Um, but when it time, comes time for that 10 millimeter, I'll need to put it in something. Right? And I could easily just get another appendix rig or whatever, but for what I'm going to be using it for, uh, I think this will work just fine. Outside the waistband would be fine, and uh, if I needed to do inside the waistband, I could easily do that. So anyway, guys, if you have used this set before, let me know if you liked it. Let me know um, if there's any issues I need to be looking at uh, or whatever, or if you've used the Ragnarok um, SD. From T-Rex Arms. If you like that one, you're like, man, you shouldn't have wasted your money on that holster. Go get the other holster. Well, now I have the light. I can get the $80 holster if this turns out not to be that great of a deal. Um, but let me know either way, or if anybody has both of them, which one do you like better and why? Do you all think this is a stupid thing to really look at? Um, you know, is it like a gimmick? Because a lot of stuff is gimmicky, but the more you look into it, for me, the more you're like, okay, it has a very niche or niche whatever market just like very compressed amount of people that like okay not not many people have an application for this but those that do oh it's beautiful it's a beautiful thing those that don't they all just think it's dumb same thing with the law tactical folder um, vertex bags for carrying rifles it's like very niche very niche but if you need it you need it and you got to do something with it anyway let me know what y'all think uh, if you got any comments questions you know what to do Thank you all for everything you all do, and um, that's pretty much it. All right, y'all be good to be safe. We'll catch you on the next video.